hour, hour and a half, had that debris signature on radar. And this won't come as a surprise, but the National Weather Service uh, is now saying that they're in the preliminary steps of forming a damage survey team to investigate uh, South Yarmouth, West Dennis area of Cape Cod. Um, those are the areas that were close to that 90 mile per hour wind that was registered close to the Hyannis area, the Hyannis port, but uh, also in West Dennis, um, there was a report of a 79 mile per hour gust. So it looks like we'll get confirmation either way, whether you're talking about rotation or talking about, you know, straight line winds, but all indications are that uh, this is likely a tornado. And Chris, yeah. what we're looking so, uh uh, and Jeremy as well, just to, to let everybody know, what you're looking at on the left side of your screen is video from Nar Martha's Vineyard, and that's really where we first jumped on when, when that was an area of concern, uh, right near Martha's Vineyard and the other islands. You can see the rain just pouring right there. And Chris, you mentioned these torrential downpours. Uh, we're seeing a lot of water out there, potentially some flooding too, right? Yeah, we certainly have seen that over the last couple of hours. I will say this, that problem is going to rapidly get better now that the heaviest uh, of the rain is offshore, too. And you can see there's nothing else in the wake of this storm system here. So uh, we are fortunate now, now we're, we're not clearing on out. Um, and as we go through the coming days, we're going to have some low humidity, too. So undoubtedly, there's going to be damage reports that continue to come out across parts of the Cape as we go throughout the day. And there's going to be really an assessment of what needs to get done to clean up. Now that this storm is offshore and there's no other storms in its wake to bother us as we go throughout the day. I want to show you something on graphics, too. Uh, High Soul compiled a list of uh, some wind gusts that we have seen. Again, the Hyannis Port area, 90-mile-per-hour gusts. Look at Chatham, 85-mile-per-hour gusts. West Dennis at 79, Vineyard Haven at 69. Just some incredible winds being picked up. And these are being picked up at the sites where there's, you know, an anemometer, something to measure so you can imagine that, you know, in between some of these sites, some of these winds were likely as strong, if not as stronger. So we are concerned that there's going to be quite a bit of tree damage that comes out. Last night's tree damage occurred with winds gusting 45 to 50 to 55 miles per hour. And that tree damage, of course, not helped out by the fact that the trees are in full bloom here and you got your leaves out. They almost act like sails and act as the more to enhance the force of the wind than anything else and put the stress on that tree. Left hand side of the screen, you can see the torrential rains and some of the gusty winds on the video of Mashpee. That was another area we were concerned with earlier today of potentially seeing that tornado was warned. If you didn't see that tornado in the Mashpee area, I was mentioning that there was a lot of indications that there were straight line winds aloft that were very strong. There's your gust close to 60 miles an hour in Mashpee from that storm that came on through. And there's your video showing you those winds whipping around and certainly some of the heavy rain too. Barnstable gust of 53. You know, this is just part of the list. Want to switch back to graphics one, show you what's going on on the radar right now because fortunately we're now in the clear across much of the area. In fact, the, the heaviest rain now exiting off to the east of uh, the East Ham and Wellfleet area, that's going to continue out to sea. This is the area that produced that likely tornado across the Yarmouth area, South Yarmouth, and very close to West Dennis as well. So the National Weather Service will form their team, you know, send out a survey team, check out the damage, and give us any official thoughts and stats on that. But all indications are by radar that there was a tornado signature uh, in that radar, a debris signature at that. And what that was is that the radar this you know day and age can detect when it's just not all raindrops uh, hitting the you know the radar energy that going out. If it sees different sizes of objects in the sky, you know that it's not just raindrops. It can be, you know, leaves. It can be pieces of a roof shingle, you know, other pieces of a, a tree branch uh, gets lofted in the sky and the radar is seeing all these different sorts of sizes uh, coming back uh, to the radar in terms of once this energy is sent out and comes back to the radar. And when you don't have these raindrops, you know, matching up size by size by side, you know, the correlation of those sizes is very low. So when you see these, you know, low correlations on the radar, you know that it's likely a tr uh, tornado debris signature that we did see. So here's a velocity scan. This is what's gone through Chatham. Mentioned before, and JR was mentioning too on the phone, that you did have a very strong wind aloft signature uh, over Chatham, and that's confirmed with that wind gust uh, on that list that High Soul was just uh, showing us too with 
with a gust of 85 miles an hour in Chatham. So good riddance to this system. You know, it was two different waves of low pressure along a front that created the severe weather last night and the severe weather over the last couple of hours. We're not going to see a reoccurrence of that uh, as we go through the remainder of the day. Or even with the showers overnight tonight, um, the energy that produced the severe weather is going to be off to the south of us. want to give you a little bit of a wider view of what is going on across the area and I want to show you that this is, again, this is it. I mean, there may be a spot shower or two, but we're watching a lot of this slide off to the east uh, at the moment here and continue its journey uh, offshore, guys. We do also want to talk a little bit about some of the damage, but maybe not even the trees down or the flooding, but we do have some power outages, more than 10,000 people being reported in parts of the Cape without power right now. So, you, again, don't need an actual tornado to cause the damage when you get these straight line winds and the wind gusts of up to 90 miles per hour. It's, it's, it's wild. I mean, you're talking hurricane force type winds and you can see a lot of damage and, and power lines going down. So there's thousands and thousands of people now. Fucking now weather, and they've been going doing it for quite a while, is nothing but fear porn. You know what I mean? People jerking off to this fucking fear porn, getting off on it, scaring people over bullshit. Up here, nothing but thunderstorms, a lot of rain, some wind, old trees would come down, maybe some power lines. They fucking build it all the fuck up and make it ten times more than it is. It's all bullshit. Fucking dickheads, man. Fucking weather is so full of shit. Who don't have power. Yeah, and we're seeing uh, some of the conditions in this video off to your left of your screen here, getting some uh, first looks at some of the conditions. The rain is just coming down, as you can see on your the left of your screen here. Let's check back in with John Kogo. He's been down on the Cape uh, this afternoon getting a first-hand look at the conditions and some of the damage. You said you saw tree branches down. You're in Yarmouth. Is that correct, John? Right, yeah. We're in Yarmouth right now. That tornado that uh, the radar confirmed touched down in South Yarmouth, there, you know, some of the strongest winds were seen there. There's bound to be damage where you are. What are you seeing at the moment? Uh, so as we're talking right now, we just passed a tree in somebody's yard that had snapped. And as we speak, we're also pulling up on a scene where a tree has snapped and the road is blocked by police. Uh, so definitely some damage in this area. Um, we are pulling up to that scene as we speak right now. We actually can't really go any further, to be honest with you, because there's a tree down across the road. Police have that road blocked. Some neighbors in this area are out taking a look at it. Uh, you can also see where somebody's porch umbrella has uh, blown into their front yard. Uh, so we're definitely seeing some of that damage. Uh, it looks like, uh, actually, sorry, as, as I'm taking a look here, it looks like not only did that tree come down across the road, but that tree came down across the road and a white pickup truck here um, right across the hood of that pickup truck. So um, it doesn't look to be like there is any. Come on, stop fucking up the script. Will you read it right or show us some video? Let's see what's going on. Let's see how they fucking play this fucking bullshit story. Uh, serious damage here, but let me get out of the car. We just pulled up. Uh, I'm going to walk up to the scene here and see what's going on while I have you guys here on the phone. Uh, again, there's a, a big tree. It looks like it just <laughs> snapped. Uh, I can't see any. He's got them on the phone. <laughs> Here's down across the road right now. Um, it looks like it's just a large tree. Oh, actually, it came down in someone's driveway as well on another car. Uh, there's a small sedan that's in the driveway uh, that we're looking at as well right now. Uh, so we're just coming up on this damage. Like I said, we can't go any further because we can't get across the road. So we're being kept back here by police. Um, hold on, neighbor. Ma'am, what, what happened here? I think we're at um, Pot and Kettle, and the wind is so bad. I went for something to come slamming through my windshield. We just pulled in, and it hit. Oh, my God. What about, what about this tree here that's down across the road? Did you did you hear that as well? No. No, my, my roommate said he saw it fall down. He saw it fall down? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. It's messed everywhere. This tree is down. It's terrible. Okay. Okay. Horrible. Horrible. Oh, my God. You're in that car, too? Yeah, it's on two cars right here. 
Um, sorry, we're, we're live on the air right now on Channel 7. So can you just tell me right now what, what else you were hearing in this area? The wind and the rain. It was so bad. Everything's blowing down. We were in Hoffman, Carol Park a lot in South and I'm so scared. We both were there. It was terrible. And there's trees down everywhere. Oh, my God. I've never seen anything like that in my hey, life. Where, can, you, can you kind of describe where we are in Yarmouth right now for people that don't know? We are on West Yarmouth Road from in the middle of Buck Island and 28th is the road that goes across. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's West Yarmouth, really. But they said it touched down in Yarmouth. I mean, <laughs> West Yarmouth. Yeah. yeah. And so, ma'am, did you, were you here when this no, tree came down? No, I was with Maureen, but I'm here visiting from Florida where we were supposed to have tornadoes. Not down here in uh, Cape Cod, Mass. I lived here 28 years and never saw a storm like this. We had just pulled in the parking lot to get some lunch, and all the power went out. The trees went blowing everywhere. The wind was terrible. Oh, my God, I couldn't believe it. I've never seen nothing like that in my life. Scary. Could you hear it, like, coming through this area? Like, how, how when it picked up, did you hear it? Yeah. yeah. Where we were, we heard it. Running, running from their cars and going into the stores. Yeah. Oh, my God. I've, never, I've, never, I've lived here all my life. I've never seen anything like that. What the fuck is this? With the tape okay. to the fucking well, thank door? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Go uh, to the back. Up to the air. That uh, weather moving through Bro, this area. What a two fuck, women uh, who live right here on this street where that tree came down. So, John, we're getting your video that? in. It's actually on the left side of your screen. We're, we're, we're looking oh, you at your video now. Okay. And, and really, we're now finally getting to see what you were describing so eloquently, uh, what we were seeing. And now we're actually getting to see it. And we see the big trees down. This looks like someone's umbrella or tarp or some sort of canopy that was just ripped out of the ground. Uh, and the people who are really in shock right now looking at these big trees that are down across the road. And, and you just heard just the genuine reaction shock. from the yeah. person there. Yeah, the woman yeah. you talked to is saying she's never seen anything like this before. Right, exactly. And, and uh, I'm sure uh, Joe's got the camera right now. And uh, if we can, if you can go over, you can see where that pickup truck, that's the pickup truck that I was talking about. From where we're standing right now, it's tough to actually see the other car that I was talking about. It's being blocked right now by police. But there's another car that uh, this tree came directly down on top of. Uh, so... Yeah, there is uh, significant damage right where we are here. Like I said, this tree is blocking the road. Uh, we're not going anywhere. Anywhere, Anyone trying to come down this road right here, they're not going anywhere. Uh, so definitely some significant damage uh, here uh, in Yarmouth that we're, that we're seeing. Looks like, uh, John, that the, the winds that caused all this damage, those have kind of subsided. Is it still raining yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, there's no rain right now, although we did uh, see some streets that were definitely flooded. So while it isn't raining, that doesn't mean that there isn't some flooding still uh, on some roads here. So we did see some of that, but the rain has, has subsided. The wind has subsided. Uh, but with that being said, there is some uh, damage here. There are roads that are flooded. There are reasons still out there that people should be concerned just because it seems more quiet right now doesn't mean that people should just be running out and checking everything out. There could be wires down uh, for people that are driving. There are areas that could still be flooded. And again, we have a lot of people with power outages that they're dealing with as well. So you want to take the proper precautions there. Of course, if you have a generator, you probably know this, but we'll reinforce it. You don't put those indoors. You don't put it in a sealed garage. You keep that generator outside in a well-ventilated area. It's If we're looking for something good about this storm, John, it's that it was moving so quickly. It was going 35, 45 miles per hour as it moved through the area. So while it was intense and while it's causing a lot of damage, uh, it did move off shore pretty quickly so we didn't have to deal with it for hours and hours like it could have been if it were a slow moving storm but but nonetheless it just shows how quickly it can move in do the damage and then you almost snap your fingers and you look outside now john and there's no rain there's no wind it's it's, it's over yeah absolutely chris right now i'm actually uh being walked to the back of someone's yard here where he said that uh, a tin shed was that I mean, how quickly did this happen was it it lasted, it lasted probably about, I, I, I want to say about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? About 10 minutes. Unbelievable. It was just crazy. I shut the windows, I took my dog and went down the cellar. I said, that's crazy out there now. I mean, for that, for 10 minutes to see all this that happened. 10 minutes. At, and that might be exaggerated a little oh, bit. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going okay. on the high side. On the high side, yeah. So, guys, you can hear that uh, this was just quick. It was powerful. 
And within that short period of time, we're talking fences down, trees down, a shed up on its, uh, it's actually kind of up sitting upside down right now. And then you have another tree that is snapped. Other than what the one that we were talking about earlier, this isn't another section of someone's backyard, a large tree snapped uh, right over. So uh, again, this is sort of reiterating some of the damage that we're seeing. And this is just one section of one neighborhood in Yarmouth that we're talking about. This isn't, you know, all over the place that we're seeing. Literally, we're stuck because we can't go any further with a tree down across uh, the street here. And this is me just walking through people's backyards, walking up and down the street, checking things out. And in this small area, this is all the damage that we're seeing right now. John, we just got word that uh, 14,000 people now on the Cape are without power. So a lot of people impacted by this storm. I can imagine even more by some of the damage that we're seeing here in this footage. But we are getting firsthand look after this storm blew through. You mentioned how fast it just came and went. Yeah. It's already out. To see. South Yarmouth, this is where we saw the or the radar reported tornado. Look at those winds whipping, and I think Chris may be looking at... They're not even going to show, they're going to show you the same fucking clip for 15, 20 minutes. Fucking, fucking retarded crap, man. Oh, my Lord. The fifth one. My weather. My weather. My weather. <laughs> 